For February, I chose self-care for my bullet journal theme. I even made a new sticker sheet for this idea. You can find it in my Etsy shop linked in the information bar down below. February is a month that is often associated with Valentine's Day. But I personally think that this holiday can be a bit over the top and overrated. Besides, some of us haven't found their other halves yet. But no worries, we all have someone special in our lives. There is only one person you will spend all of your life with. Yourself. That's why I like to focus on self-care and self-love during the month of February. Self-care is often associated with our physical appearance. But it is about so much more than that. For me, it is more about taking care of our physical and mental health. You are not just a body, you have a spirit that needs to feel safe and loved, a spirit that needs to grow. For some of you this might sound a bit weird and strange, but spending time with yourself is very important. If you want to have a good relationship with yourself, you have to spend time with yourself. Sit in silence and listen to your thoughts. Give yourself some space to think. Don't lunge for your phone or other distractions. Journal about your feelings. Create something just for fun without any pressure of a certain outcome. There is so much in you that needs space to grow. But we keep filling that space with distractions like social media, TV shows, and our attachment to what other people think we should do or be. This quote that I'm writing down reminds me that I already have everything in me that I need. I just need to uncover it. Creating healthy habits can definitely help with that. I have 8 healthy habits that I want to keep track of this month. Reading scripture, getting enough sleep, going for walks and do little workouts, journaling, yoga and meditation, getting dressed every day, drinking enough water and taking my vitamins. Something that also helps me is tracking my mood. I love to use a graph so I can predict my PMS, which is really helpful when it comes to relationships. Besides keeping track of my habits and mood, I also like to set some goals. I try to keep it to a minimum like one to three specific goals. I don't want to overwhelm myself with a big list of goals that I have to check off at the end of the month. I haven't made up my mind yet for this month, but it could be something like making a video or do it, doing something out of my comfort zone, stuff like that.
This month I wanted to keep the process of making the pages very simple and easy so I can focus more on the other self-care things that I want to work on. Making this weekly spread was done in just a few minutes, but I think it still looks really cute with the self-care stickers. Something I wanted to ask you all is, what are your favorite self-care or self-love things to do? Please share it in the comment section so others can get inspired too. I have been feeling a bit off myself to be honest for the last two weeks or so and I can really use some positivity in my life. Besides, I would love to get to know you just a little bit better. Here is a quick overview of the pages that I made so far. But more self-care and self-love bullet journal ideas are coming up. So make sure to subscribe and like this video and I hope to see you next time.